is going on guys welcome back to the channel as you guys can see snowy snowing uh but as we left off on the last video we are going to be installing the supercharger belt i did have to go get some extended bolts These are 3 8 inch bolts. Um, they threaded in just enough to hold the front uh, crash support and the radiator and all of that stuff. Um, I didn't thread them in to where it was like cross threading the nut, uh, just enough to where it would grab a few threads um, so I can actually pull this guy back out. Uh, reason being, I went ahead and got underneath the car and reinstalled the engine mount so we are totally solid here um, this side is no longer sagging down um, yeah so we're actually really close with the car so originally I tried to install the belt that came with the CTS turbo pulley the CTS supercharger pulley came with a Bando 7pk 1270 belt um, and I totally thought it would work I wasn't really thinking um, I did also put the lower pulley on as well so that further changes the belt size that you need um, and so I went online once this guy didn't fit and did some research and found one that hopefully will fit um, it might not 100% fit but um, it's a lot closer so we went with uh, another bando um, some people say it's good some people say it'll break real fast so we'll keep an eye out we'll test it we'll be the guinea pig for you guys but we got the 7 pk 1320 as opposed to the 7PK1270, which works with the stock crank pulley and the performance upper pulley, which is, I believe, like a, uh, I don't even know what size. I'm not even going to try and guess right now. I don't know what size it is. But, um, so, this will work with upper pulley only. This one should work with both. Um, I had to do a little research. There's some forums out there with people sharing their belt sizes. There was a guy using a 7PK1325 on a 195 millimeter um, lower pulley and the, uh, I think it's like a 57.3 upper pulley, something like that. And he used the 1325 and then I have 191 as opposed to the 195 that that guy had. So... Um, this one was a little bit easier to find. The 1325 um, pulley was, or belt, was out of stock like everywhere I looked. And it was going to be shipping from U the UK or something like that. So, went with this guy. They had it on Amazon and got here in a day. So, yeah. We'll see if this works. If not, we can try and go to AutoZone or something. They do carry accessory drive belts. This is only an accessory drive belt. It's not like a... Audi exclusive thing um, so if you can get a seven rib belt you can find it wherever so yeah we'll see gosh the snow is depressing guys but we are gonna make do with what we've got we've got a decent place to work on the car and we gonna do it so anyway we will pull this guy back out into service mode so you need a good like two inch gap here um, so you gain access to all the belts way easier. So glad I thought to get the 3 8 as well. Um, in the uh, 10 millimeter metric bolts, um, they only had some that were, it was 50 millimeters. So about that big, only a little bit bigger than the OEM bolts. So this one um, came in handy just perfect shouldn't be messing up the threads um, just snugged it in there barely hand tight um, so it would hold and then we can just rest the whole front end on it so we've got like four inches ish pulled forward so that's really nice all right guys so to do this you will need a 16 millimeter socket attached to either a ratchet or in this case I'm using a pulley breaker bar wrench whatever um, and you will just need to flex the tensioner back one way or the other and uh, just loosen the tension so you can get the belt on and then let it go and it'll retension the belt 
and you should be good. So let's start running this. All right, so to run it, you will wrap it around the larger crank pulley, as you can see, and then underneath that idler pulley, and then over the supercharger pulley here. And then uh, when you have the slack removed from the tensioner right there, uh, which I think I can do with one hand. So let me just show you guys. Nope, I can't. All right, so as I was saying, we will take our pulley wrench or whatever you decide to use, get it on there if you can do that. Maybe I can't even do that, let's see. There we go, so we are on there. And then as we push down, um, it'll take the tension out and then give you some more slack so you can slide this over the supercharger pulley up top, which I'm doing this one-handed so you guys can't really see. All right, and just like that, the belt is on. Like I said, we are using 7PK1320 belt and 191 lower and the it is the CTS upper pulley uh, Canadian Auto Performance lower pulley and everything else stock so we got it installed super pumped uh, I'm gonna go back through and double check the torque on the crank pulley just to make sure we don't want that thing coming off or anything even though it is kind of pressed on there it's got a really tight tolerance to the actual crankshaft itself so we should be good but Good to double check and make sure I torqued everything because I don't remember. I was just trying to get it on. So anyway, uh, yeah, we are getting real close, guys. <laughs> anyway, that is going to be it for the video. Super short one today, I know. Um, we ended up throwing the supercharger belt on and basically it. So anyway, uh, we are super, super close. Fingers crossed that all of the work that we did uh, will result in the car starting and running and hopefully the engine is good um, That is probably like my biggest fear um, if it doesn't start whatever we can keep diagnosing things But if it starts and the engine is hurt I'll be so sad, but anyway, uh, that is it for the video. We will see you on the next one. We are super close Thank you guys for subscribing and thank you guys for liking the content and watching the content. I do appreciate it And we will see you on the next one. So peace